Bliss Fabric provides building, monitoring, and management capabilities with the help of Azure Service Fabric Explorer. So wherever you are running the Service Fabric Explorer, whether it is running on your local machine where you configure or install the Service Fabric SDK, or you've deployed the Service Fabric onto Azure on the Azure environment. You can always go ahead and check the explorer by opening the name of your service fabric instance. If you're running it, then it's local dot the column 19080, the port number which is reserved for the service fabric explorer, and then slash explorer index.html. You'll get the explorer page open. Once you have this explorer page open, what you can do is it go ahead and check the number of application which is deployed on your application on your service fabric cluster so let's say here in this case displays the dashboard information about the service fabric cluster and all its application which has been deployed in it so in the dashboard you can see the number of nodes which has been hosted right now on my local cluster i have i'm running currently one node cluster but if you are running three node cluster or five node cluster, then the number of nodes which is, is going to be displayed here. And the next is the application, which is the number of application which is going to be deployed on this receptor cluster, and how many of them in warning state, how many of them are healthy. So currently, I'm running one application which is in healthy. Next is the the services which are running under this application and the partitions so number of partitions so if, so if you are if you have created the partition for your application or this for your services or your api then the different partitions will information will be displayed here i can go ahead and and check the application so for example this is the number of applications so i have the application name says subject dash demo and inside that there is a service which is running right now so if i have multiple services within this subject application then they all the services will be displayed here and this is the name of the partition which i am running it right now as you can see the partition id and this will display this partition is running under node 0 if the same partition is running with the multiple uh, nodes so all the nodes information will be displayed here and then it uh, addition to that service fabric comes with the different system services which manages the state of your service fabric apis and the service fabric management cluster itself so for example it has the management service cluster management service which manages the cluster dns manager management service which manages the all your dns dns routing and all within the different cluster or scale set of your service fabric event source event store services and then failover management service so failover and fault analysis is basically a service let's say if uh, one of the node or application is down then service fabric tries to create or deploy the applications so so there are two scenarios first of all let's say a node is down so if you configure to run your service fabric let's say 10 on to 10 nodes and in, in one of the typical scenario if one of the node is down then what service fabric will do is it will try to create a new instance of you or new node for you just make the list the demand serving so it will create a new node for you, your service fabric cluster and once the new node is available it will deploy the application onto that particular new node and fa failover in terms of when when the it can also happen when the application is totally down due to some configuration error or anything like that so it manages the failover from that perspective as well naming service is again about the naming of your different different application and then it tries to manage all the conflict which occurs during the service configuration deployment You can come 
to the service of explorer in time if you have if you have any errors related to any of the services or microservices which is deployed inside your service fabric you can anytime come to the service fabric explorer and, and check the application which has been deployed one more thing is you if you want to let's say reset any specific node you can right click go ahead and restart it from here or if you want to uninstall any of the application which has been deployed here so you can go ahead and unprovision the application or any the entire application or delete any specific service within the application so, so as i mentioned like you can have multiple application within the service fabric and one application can have the multiple services so either you can deploy the entire application or you can deploy a specific service within the application so the, the entire management capabilities which is given here in this service fabric explorer so you can manage from here i hope that was useful let's look at the demo